Okay, so I've got the, um, here we are building the uh, mini tool, bar, tool bench. Here we are with the mini tool bench. I've got the um, OSB board glued down and screwed down onto the frame. And now I'm gluing the uh, main boards. 2x4s that are going to run <clears throat> across the top as the second layer, actually the third layer, because the bottom layer is this compressed sawdust. Um, so I've got these down with the, the uh, adhesive, and I'm ready to, uh, I've got them clamped in, and now I'm ready to uh, screw the first board in. That'll be the runner along the front. So here it is. We'll let this uh, cure overnight. I'm probably overdoing it in terms of the amount of weights and clamps and stuff. We've got the uh, polyurethane 3X. That's uh, this uh, stuff right here. The polyurethane 3X formula that is um, really provides a very strong uh, uh, adhesion. Uh, so I use that because I'm gluing it onto the OSB and the screws really won't hold that tight. But I want a really good tight fix uh, so it will be one stiff uh, uh, piece for my uh, top. Okay, so here we are with the tool bench with the 2x4s all glued down, screwed in tight, weights removed. So I'm ready to um, plane this down, make it pretty smooth, and then I'm going to put these two boards right here on. I think these are about 3 8 thickness of an OSB board. And then after that I'm going to put on this guy right here, which will be an old piece of plywood that I've got as the top. So uh, it's over. It's probably approximately about two foot by four foot, and this thing is about uh, 22 inches by 35, so there'll be plenty of room left. Here's a close up of you can see these beads of polystyrene adhesive, the Loctite polystyrene adhesive. You can see how it's pretty thick right in there, as well as here on the ends. All right, I've got my um, 2x4s all planed down. I used my Bosch electric planer. I went this way, longitudinal, and then I went across it too and kind of made sure it was all taken care of. There is one spot here someplace. I think right there I might have leaned down a little bit too much and took off some of the extra right in there. But um, yeah, you can see here how when I came to the edge, I probably had bared down on it, particularly right here. That's the spot where I bared down too much. You can see that's not so good. But um, I can fix that up with some adhesive. So it's pretty good and plain. It's kind of level, I think. Now I'm going to sand it to get it smooth. Okay, so now I've got it sanded. I used a coarse grade, very coarse grades. Uh, sand uh, paper on my um, on my belt sander and uh, you can see here it's nice and smooth I think I went across both longitudinal and cross and uh, I think it's in pretty good shape so when I'm ready for the next step now for this step here I've got it planed and sanded so now I'm ready took off this adhesive that bubbled out. It is very strong polystyrene 3x strength um, polyurethane adhesive which is great stuff but it does come out and expand so I want to get this out because I'm going to put a board along here and I want this to be all nice and level. Same thing down here on this end there's a little bit maybe not quite as much but get this all cleaned off and we'll be, and we'll be ready to put the next board on. 
All right, now we've got this all cut off nice and smooth, you can see here. Uh, I can put a board right on there, right along there to form the side edge. All right then, I've um, sanded this top down after I had glued these on and held them down with the weights. I sanded them down, you can see it's pretty smooth there, I don't know. Yeah, I've got that, <clears throat> I sanded that off this morning, so it was really smooth. Now, I had those boards sticking out, there are the individual 2x4s were coming through, so I cut a uh, piece of wood to fit right on top of this. So I trimmed that off uh, and put this piece of wood right there laying and then I did that on each side so there's a nice uh, piece there and the, uh, the bottom has the uh, OSB uh, underneath there so it'll form a nice it'll form one continuous piece there what I did with the on the side was I wanted to have one continuous piece of OSB underneath for when I use my clamps. Uh, on the top will go the uh, the thin piece of uh, plywood will be up here but on the sides is the the board that I put underneath there. So <clears throat> uh, under here it'll all be just one continuous piece. Same thing on this side down here one continuous piece uh, of, uh, same thing on this side down here I have one continuous piece of the OSB underneath and then I've got this little piece of uh, wood that I've cut <clears throat> that'll fit right down here once again that plywood will go right over the top of this now there was a, a piece I had a groove in here I had to cut out a, uh, an extra piece of uh, a little wood and fit that in there because my uh, my OSB wasn't quite long enough. It was off by about uh, three eighths of an inch or so. So you can see right there that I've got that uh, that piece put in there to cover up the uh, the hole where the OSB was at. As far as what I use for this, I use my uh, 3X uh, premium <clears throat> uh, polyurethane Loctite formula. So I wanted that to be really tight. You can see some of these pieces sticking out because I, when I cut that, I cut it a little bit too, uh, slightly too short. So um, I had to shove some pieces of wood in there, some shims in there, <clears throat> and um, that polyurethane will make it all really tight bond. I want it to be a really tight bond on here so that it can uh, it won't uh, fall or crack fall apart or crack under uh, pressure. Now uh, to secure these boards in here this board here and this little guy back here this groove um, I use my uh, I use my staple gun using different sizes of uh, of uh, staples. Here's my rigid staple gun right here. Right here's my rigid. Now now to secure these boards on here I used uh, staples. You can see here, I don't know, I got about an inch and a half in there right now that I used there. I wanted to go in really deep. Um, so uh, not so long as staples back here but on these sides I wanted to go in really deep and be very secure so I'll come out in the morning and uh, this will be all, uh, all okay I'm ready now for the final steps I've got um, this board right here cut and that's going to go in the front um, I've got it this all sanded down I trimmed off the sides with the saw a little bit. I may need to and sand it. I may have to do some more trim work on that later. But they're, yeah, they're in pretty good shape. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the 
3x adhesive on this and then uh, we'll put the top on. Now this adhesive, this 3x adhesive right here has been a lo Loctite 3x adhesive. This has been applied all along here just on the front and I'm gonna now uh, secure that on there first with a clamp and then I will uh, screw it in. Um, that's there so that I'll have a place to put my clamps on the front of the tool bench and uh, so it's going to be exactly even with this side with these side pieces so I can clamp evenly all around. Okay so I have the adhesive, the, the 3x polyurethane adhesive on there. I've uh, clamped it with multiple clamps all the way across, you know, doing up and bottom. And then I started to staple these. So you can see here, I've used a two inch staple and put that through there. That'll go in there enough just to hold it so it doesn't wobble around. Eventually, I'll put some screws on here. But, uh, there we go. The 3X polyurethane has been all applied. Uh, adhesive has been applied and now I've uh, drilled four screws, three inch deep screws uh, in there. This board, so that's that'll secure this right here to the inside beams that will provide the strength and uh, this will make a good solid board for me to use as a vise or whatever I want to use it uh, for on the tool bench. So you can see I've got those in there pretty deep and I'll cover them up with the polyurethane adhesive. And here's how she's looking. Okay I've got the uh, 2x4 secured in place, sanded off the top, it's all dry, good and smooth. It is now ready to put this uh, nice board on here, this uh, approximately two by three foot piece of old plywood. I'm putting the weathered side up because it's, uh, it's got the fewest knots on it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna fix it on with the... So we've got the, uh, the top all glued down. I've been starting to cut, saw it, you can see I kind of butchered a portion of it right there sawing it with this back saw. <clears throat> um, so this is where we stand and uh, next step is to sand it down. All right so I'm uh, I yesterday I put the 3x polyurethane adhesive on here and you can around the edges where it, the plywood had frayed up when I was sawing it. Also I cut a little bit too much here so I, um, I put that adhesive on here now I'm going to sand it down again. Okay so we're all done now we've got this all sanded off. I used an electric planer on this and I gouged it a little bit right here and maybe a little bit over there and a little bit here. So and I actually I really didn't need to use the planer. I, the sander worked uh, just fine. I was concerned it was going to clog this was going to clog up my sandpaper but it did not. Anyway, uh, it's all done and it's all ready to be used.